what is going on guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to unlock the chimera prologue the chimera prologue is the quest it's a short quest actually that you have to complete before unlocking the wisp boss in which you gain wisp parts from which is called the rap the rap you know what it's called it starts with an r and it's a big fucking monster that i just fucking hate anyways let's get straight into it so the first step that you want to complete is actually your star chart now this is a much simple step the only problem is it's going to be time consuming obviously but you guys got this just complete your star chart and you want to unlock the void from Sedna, not the void from Ceres, the void from Sedna or Europa. I mean, not the void from Europa. You want to unlock the void from Sedna because Sedna will unlock the hard void, and the hard void is exactly what you want. So, yeah, basically, what I'm showing you right now was the void, and then I showed you Sedna, and then I showed you Pluto, and basically the planets before it. So, I'm basically going backwards on basically what you have to follow in order to unlock a mission on the void called Mott. It's a survival mission, it's level 40s and above, and that mission is pretty darn difficult, especially if you don't have the proper weapons. Now, in my last two videos, I showed you how to master rank faster and how to get the foreman. So yeah, they go hand to hand. The Foreman is the best weapon in this game, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that weapon will help you a lot. Now, if you don't have the weapon, well, you can just get a Catalyst, which doubles your mod capacity. Put it on a random weapon. Put the best mods you have in the game, and then you're set to go right there. So, but yeah, uh, you also want to upgrade your mods or whatever to help you in these type of missions. But anyways, con let's continue back to the topic. So, anyways, yeah, I just went backwards, as you can see so now let me go straight so forward so the junctions you have to complete most of the missions and the challenges to complete those junctions and basically you get your start chart so that's your start chart now let's move on out of navigation and let's move on to your codex now your codex is a complete different story this is where your quests are at and here is where you have to really pay attention so you have to complete the world within after you complete the world within you will unlock your personal quarters now before i get there let me show you something so if you change your settings to solo um you will then be able to play the chains of hero quest now the chains of hero quest is unlocked after you complete ma which is the survival on the void you complete that and you get this quest now this quest has to be completed solo and the reason it has to be completed solo is it will unlock the apostasy prologue now the apostasy prologue is basically a quest that you obtain from a blue orb in your it's basically a blue orb in the back of your ship in the personal quarters now the sacrifice is the next quest you obtain and this you don't have to do anything you will just complete it will just pop up and you complete it this is how you get Excalibur Umbra this Warframe is so good it's like Excalibur but on steroids this is basically Excalibur Prime since it got removed a while ago after you complete that quest you will then see Chimera Prologue to access this there will be a person from the Red, Red Rio clan or faction or whatever you want to call it he will be playing with the lotus helmet you just go up to him and then he'll disappear you press the lotus helmet and you go back in time or you get a memory or whatever and then you, you learn more about the lotus now i'm going to go enter here you can see the lotus helmet on the pedestal and this is where the blue orb the apostasy prologue basically begins right there so yeah apostasy prologue comes before the chimera prologue now here's one thing i do have to warn you do not try to rush this as fast as possible. Try to actually take your time and have fun and enjoy the quest because you want to enjoy the game. There's more quests coming out in the future. There's, I think, the new war coming out. There's so much coming out. This game is so amazing when it comes to that. Anyway, so this is how you change from public to solo. You go up here, press start, whatever button brings up this menu here, then you go to solo. That's how you change it if you didn't know. Most people do know, though. Anyways, continuing. Um, basically, what you want to do next is... Um, actually that's it wow i actually thought there was a next step but there really isn't that's it yeah for let's recap real quick you complete your star chart and then you just go ahead and okay my bad my bad let me let me restart that over anyways let's recap again this is a restart recap so let's say you haven't done anything all you have to do is just complete your star chart complete the mop vision in the void and unlock the chains of harrow after completing the chains of harrow you go to the behind you go to the back of your personal quarters make sure you're on solo and you see a blue orb you go either you either go into it or you press x or your interaction button with the orb after that 
you do a quest then you do another quest i think which will pop up on your codex then after the sacrifice you then will go back there will be a red veal faction member playing with the lotus helmet running around with it or touching it or whatever playing it with it then you get mad then you go to the lotus helmet you inspect it and then you go you basically have a flashback so after that you would then equip well i'm not going to spoil what happens after that but basically that is how you get the chimera prologue and then after that you just load in to jupiter uh the mission that you want to do to get the to farm the wisp parts and there you go that mission is hell i will show you how to beat that boss easier as time you know elapses but this boss is a pain in the ass spoilers ahead by the way Oh my god, I was I was editing this video and I went to the kitchen to go get a snack and I saw a big ass rat. Oh my god, I got so scared, holy shit. I killed that nigga with Windex though, so we good. Yeah, I had no I had no traps, so I just gotta kill that nigga with Windex. That nigga stays stay. Anyways, uh anyway, so this is how you unlock this and basically uh yeah, this girl is pretty hot too, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, her name dreams. is Nata, but she's very Guided beautiful. Nata, or whatever. Anyways, that's how you unlock the Chimera Prologue, and then eventually unlock the Raptor Lich mission and Farm Wisp. If you want me to make a video on how to Farm Wisp, I'll make it, but honestly, it's self explanatory. You just go here, beat this boss. I recommend running this with four people because this shit is impossible. I'm not gonna even lie to you, this shit's hard as shit. But, anyways, use Excalibur Umbra. He has tower resistance, which is the lasers. Uh, but yeah, you guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'm out. By the way, before I leave, I love you. Peace out.